Muscle loss is directly linked with early death. Muscle in itself is extremely important for overall health. There is a direct correlation between muscle and the ability to produce force, strength. When you lose strength, you lose functional independence, and that's a huge issue from a quality of life standpoint. And once you lose functional independence, it also sets off this chain where you become more sedentary, which leads to other health-related complications. So if you are not doing something that involves expensive force against your muscles, you will ultimately lose muscle mass at the rate of about a half percent per year after the age 30 to 35. And that actually accelerates to over one, one or even two percent when you get past 50 to 60. But if you're 20 and you continue to train for the rest of your life, you can maintain the majority of what you have even to your 60s, 70s and beyond. Two 30-minute sessions a week can go a long way to reversing the effects of aging. It's kind of like a banker. Think of it as retirement. If you build up an early retirement, you reap those rewards for the rest of your life. But the bad news, the earlier you start, the better. And if you didn't start, you will not be able to recoup some of the benefits that you could have gotten. But the good news is, is that it's never too late to start. One of the classic studies ever done, and they had 90-year-old nursing home patients who were in very poor physical condition, undertake an eight-week program of just doing leg extensions three days a week. And at the end of the study, the subjects increased their leg strength by 150%, their functional capacity by 50%. And the coolest part of the study was that it was 10 subjects. Three of the 10 were able to walk without the assistance of their canes. I mean, 90 years old, and that just shows you might not be able to get the body back that you had when you were 20, but you can undo a good amount of damage that's been done.